Namaskar. Uh, it is my privilege to be here amidst such celebrated people and very qualified individuals uh, with my humble background. And uh, I have been enriched in the earlier part of the interactions in the presentation which were made. They were extremely informative for me at least. And I'm sure uh, we'll continue in the same vein with the celebrated list of panelists which I have with uh, myself. So I was just sharing with somebody that a good part of being a moderator is that you can look intelligent, do very little, but come out looking very good in the end. So th with this is the end game, I uh, request uh, my esteemed panelists to join me today, please. Uh, starting with Mr. Naresh Kumar, uh, a name which uh, does not need introduction in that sense. Uh, Mr. Naresh Kumar uh, has worked extensively with the Indian Railways. Uh, please have a seat. Concord and the Pipawab Railway Corporation, both in the middle and the senior level of management. And uh, he hails from the Indian Railway Service of uh, Mechanical Engineers, 1989 batch. And uh, to many who would know, he's been the architect of the double stack container trains and the double stack dwarf container trains on the Indian Railways, which have resulted in substantial reduction in the unit cost of transportation for the container segment. And after leaving the Indian Railways, he, as an entrepreneur, set up his own factory, uh, which is well known with the name of Kalyani Cast Tech Limited, which is a public limited company, which is engaged extensively in steel casting, uh, manufacturing of various types of containers for export and domestic customers. And uh, it's a matter of pride for us that he has patented three types of special containers which are being popularized in the Indian Railways and are helping logistic companies in reduction of their transport costs. And I may now invite Mr. Naresh Kumar to kindly say a few words before we get into the discussion bit with the others. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Namaskar. Good, after good evening, good afternoon. Basically, it is very difficult to keep the people engaged after the lunch. But trust me, the, I'm presenting such a simple ideas which has got long-lasting effects not only on logistic cost but other aspect of railway working also. So please bear with me after lunch. I try myself that you remain engaged with me. Basically, today's my theme, as uh, morning people were discussing that logistic cost is 13%, 14%, whatever percentage it is, but trust me, it is much higher than even most of the countries. Especially railway logistics, if you consider at a pattern basis, we are much higher than China, we are higher than Russia, we are higher than any of the developed railway system. You consider one container comes from Canada to Mundra port in $2,000, but moving from Mundra port to Delhi cost me almost $1,500. So that is the kind of surface cost we have got. And uh, we have to reduce this this cost, that is our theme. And we, I am presenting some of the systems which have already resulted in reduction of cost substantially. And we keep on going innovating new things. If you see the first photograph, that is of 2006, Indian Railways have started first container train with double stack containers on the wagons. This is the most efficient system which one can think of. Instead of 90 TUs, these trains carry 180 TUs and moving between northern hinterland to Porto Pipawa and Mundra. At present, 20 to 25 trains are moving per day. If you had not introduced this system, Indian Railways would have lost this business long back. Mind you, this system I have introduced after jailing so much of the bureaucracy and babudam in railway system. And no, naysayers are many, and yes, sayers are very less. So after that, I have got the strength of various high decision-making people so we could introduce this system. If you see the second system, that is very recent one. This has also got long-lasting effect on the logistic cost. This system we have introduced not very recently in July 2018 after struggling with railways for 10 years. So this is the train which can run on double stack mode, even under normal wire, which is 5.5 meter above the rail level. 
and this has given a very big flip that on the wagon we can increase the volume by 67%. So the medium light and the light cargo can also load up to the train load of the wagons. So basically you may be knowing that uh, railway generally costing is based on tonnage basis. So unless they fix their tonnage per wagon, unless you come up to that tonnage, the rates become dead, weight, dead rates and that is substantial in many of the cargoes. So with the help of these increasing volumes, we could reach up to the payload available for the wagons. And this has given a lot of substantial saving in the cargo which are very light and medium light cargoes. Presently, the, these trains are moving between Jamnagar to Rewadi, Haryana, and Jamnagar to Mwapi, there is a place near to Mumbai. So 20 to 25 trains are running on this system. And uh, we have got interaction with ministries and Minister of Railways. Now they are making all the routes on railways, which has got potential for container, container movement to suit these kind of trains. Or uh, both the DFCs can move these kind of trains. So this is the another thing which, uh, and I have been basically, we have patented these kind of containers and we are manufacturer of these containers also. Second this is the dwarf container we have discussed. The third is that a cubed container, smaller container, which we have devised for transportation of parcel cargo. We call it LTL cargo, less than truckload cargo. So this, these containers are very beneficial for that. Even they can reduce the cost, overall cost, from 30 to 35% on per ton basis. So I'll, with this background, I will just move to the next slide. Basically, I am of the opinion that uh, for the domestic transportation, the ISO containers like 20 feet, 40 feet containers, they may not be suitable for our requirement because the volume available on ISO containers and the loadability of ISO container is much lower than our desired values. On railway point of view, we move around 23 ton excel load, so each and every con wagon can have 72 ton of payload. 72 means that 36 ton each container can, can be gone up to, while ISO standard says only 30.5 tons. Similarly, you, you may be aware that from the morning itself, you have been listening about NRP, National Rail Plan, and uh, that uh, Gati Sakti and all these things. So railway has got big plans to move 3,000 million tons of cargo per year, that originating cargo on railway wagon, by 2030, which will constitute 40 to 45% of the share from the present 20 to 20% share. So which is going to be 100% increase. Now railway has got a very well-planned system. If they want to use only the conventional kind of system, from 1,500 to 3,000, they have to double the rail side, railway lines if, if they are not going innovative. So if they have to double the railway lines, this, the, within, the, within 75 years of our independence, we could create hardly 10,000 or 15,000 foot kilometer additional. That's all. But if you have to double it, then you can imagine how many years you, you want. So railway has to go in an innovative mode so that the per train tonnage has increased, the trains become faster so that the productivity of the trains increases. At present, the average speed of goods train is 18 to 19 kilometer per hour, which is slightly higher than the Belgardi speed. So with this speed, the productivity of the assets is very, very low compared to other railway system like Chinese railways or even Russian railways, or American railways. So we, we have, we, I have been emphasizing that we should increase the speed of the trains from at least 18, 19 to 40 kilometer. Your asset utilization of track, your asset utilization of rolling stock increases substantially. So I am of the opinion that let the container wagon, which is the only wagon on Indian railways which can run at 100 kmph, be used as the base wagon and you customize, instead of a wagon, you should have a special containers for specific cargo requirement. So you create the special containers instead of the special wagons for the cargo requirement. So that you can utilize the highest speed of the container wagons and the cargo is moved more efficiently. Your productivity increases many times. So 
we we not only basically we not only manufacture containers we advise our customers that you should buy this kind of containers so that your part and cost become viable compared to other mode and it is it can be you know that moment of cargo can be more efficient so this creates win win situation for both uh, even railways the customers the logistic providers and all so as uh, in the beginning i have been i have told that uh, this uh, double stack container movement with iso containers and the dwarf container these are basically my ideas and this has been implemented very successfully on indian railways and with this double stack uh, trains railway offers you 25% discount on their haulers so that is a total 25% discount from your cost itself similarly these dwarf containers they offer additional 18% over the about 25% so before the, if you compare a running a single stack train and running a double stack train there is a difference of 30 to 35% on the railway charges itself forget about the uh, equipment uses that uh, per ton basis your wagon utilization your path utilization and your last mile first mile terminal cost reduces substantially <coughs> next please so basically this is kalyani kastak this is a public limited company as i told you we innovate design develop and manufacture basically 3 years back uh, we have got lot of ideas in my mind that what to do with the container we don't have any factory we don't have anything so we thought we started uh, on a very small scale ki whatever fitur are there in our mind let us make it and then prove it so with that idea we have started manufacturing at a very small scale and then we found ki that whatever we are saying whatever the things are coming to our mind can be implemented on railways in a big way so then we have uh, started uh, really thinking about going for manufacturing of the containers at present we are the biggest manufacturer of containers we have manufactured 1600 container in this financial year which is one and a half months is still left i am not proud of it we should be able to as a india we we should be we should have these figures in 160000 containers at least so then only we will be able to compete with chinese companies who are making 99% container at this point of time so our factory is around 80 km away from the igi airport and it is just uh, adjacent to dp world icd at pali and it is dead on the western dedicated freight corridor so we have got direct connectivity with the gateway port of mundra and pipavao the factory is in the midst of big industrial areas like dharu heda khuskhera bhiwadi nimrana gailot etc etc basically what i'm why i'm saying is it is near to the industrial area because in chinese china you see it's a next export company uh, country so whenever they make containers they just provide the cargo also to take over so that the freight cost and other related cost get saved so we have got that advantage locational advantage being in this industrial area we can offer the cargo also to our customers so that their cost becomes that freight uh, transport cost becomes nil i am the only company in the world which has got integrated plant for manufacturing of the corner casting which is the most you can say critical component of a of a container that eight corners you have got some casting element so i am approved foundry for making this casting from lloyd register uk so we have tried to integrate the components all at the component level also so that we can offer the best price at the cheapest rate similarly we have developed for other cargo with other components which used to be imported like door components etc we have developed our own dies etc and we have given to our vendors so that they can make for us ourselves so we are contributing our bit towards the atmanirbhar bharat because containers as you you may be aware that 3 uh, 4 years back all being imported from china so we have contributed that and we have also exported container in this financial year so our capacity is around 17 containers a day in on 20th december 2021 minister of railways visited our company our factory along with around 200 railway officers from all over india 
just to what innovative things we are doing over there. And he has appreciated our, whatever the innovative work we are doing. Himself and he spent almost, uh, almost two to three hours in our factory and discussing various ideas which can benefit railways. Our company is approved by uh, that uh, Indian Registrar of Shipping for manufacturing of containers and they have issued some competency certificate. As I told you that we are approved, only approved source in India which can manufacture corona casting for these containers. So this is the, what we are discussing that uh, dwarf container. This dwarf container as I told you can run on double stack mode on normal OHC system. This has got dimensions of 40 feet by eight and a half feet. Normal container, ISO container is eight feet width, but we have increased the width of this container by half a feet, and which is allowed even on road, uh, Indian roads also. On um, Indian roads, you can have any, any moving uh, trucks or any moving container up to 2600 millimeter, which is around eight and a half feet. So I've taken advantage of that around, I have increased the width by 160 millimeter and reduced the height so that they can be double stacked even under normal wire system. So with this system, we have increased the volume by 20, by 67% and I have used the air available under the OHE, which is not being serving any purpose. So with that, uh, the, and another uh, salient feature of this container is that this is gross weight of 36 ton so that I can match the 72 ton payload of the wagon. So 36 each to 72 we can go up to and we can load up to 32.5 ton of cargo inside it. The most significant and salient feature of this container is that the flooring we have not used the normal ply. We have used the FRP in the flooring which is of 9 millimeter thickness instead of 28 millimeter of the plywood. Another advantage this FRP has given to us is that it has reduced the tear weight of container by around 400 kg and increased my inside height by around about an inch. So that has got double advantage that I needed inside uh, height so that even the person can have two bags of 25 kg on the head and come out of it. You can do the operation with the help of forklift loading ins loading or uh, unloading of the uh, bags. So this is basically, we have uh, designed our own FRP system and uh, after a lot of research, we could find out that this particular mix of catalyst and the uh, that, uh, glass wool should be used so that I can get the proper, th proper strength of the plywood. This has been done for the first time in the world. And mind you, from four years, these containers are running with this system. Not even a single, single FRP seat has been damaged. Not even a single FRP seat has, and this has been fixed in almost 500 containers. Another concept which we have given to railways is these dwarf containers can run in triple stack while moving on the western corridor and the ports or the hinterland suited for the double stack trains. This will give a, this will basically give a real, real reduction in unit cost of transportation because railway will charge you only three TUs and you will be able to carry five TUs per wagon. So based on my recommendation, ministry has already started the trials. The oscillation trials are taking place. Some of the containers which are being manufactured by us, they are all special containers except one export order which we have done. This is a 20 feet, uh, 20 feet long container, 25 feet long container. And this has got gross weight of 34 ton against 30.5 ton of the normal ISO containers. So this is again a product which is very useful for the light and medium light cargo. This is another special containers which we have been making for various our customers. 
side access containers again this is also around 35 ton of gross weight they can put uh, 32 ton cargo inside it and the beauty of this they don't, they don't require any handling equipment to handle it if you can load or unload the cargo from the side access doors This is another container which we have uh, made for the, this road railer, Kiroska road railer, railer. This is the container which is, has got highest volume of 84 cubic meter, which can be allowed on Indian roads and Indian railways. It has got width of 8.5 feet and height of 9.5 feet. This is the container which has got for the bulk transportation of food grains, fly ash, clinker, soda ash, even coal can you can transport in these containers. Presently, if you see the bulk uh, moment of food grain is being done by special wagons, which has got top loading system and bottom discharge system. So the idea, the, with this you require a almost 1500 meter of railway line so that the wagon comes under the loading system and then keep going on up to the last length of the wagon. So we require around 1.5 kilometer long railway siding. But we have developed a system in which you don't require with the normal railway siding and etc. You can use that, that uh, uh, container system. And then railway wagon, it's very specific to that particular commodity. And you are at least wedded to that for 35 years if you want to divorce not possible in between if you have got uh, some technological advantages you can't have it so that container system provides you that kind of flexibility that if this particular product or this particular cargo cannot be is not there or it has gone out of the market then you can switch over to other other cargo while the wagon does not have that kind of flexibility and more uh, compared to the normal conventional wagon system, the container offer you a damage free, theft free environment. So that uh, that particular kind of tension you can avoid. So this is basically a container which we have tested for the fly ash. If you see that there are two hatches uh, on the roof, you can load the fly ash from the top and unload this fly, uh, this fly ash by just tilting by 35 to 30, 40 degree of the containers. The whole fly ash can be unloaded within, 30, within 12 to 15 minutes. And this container can carry 33.5 ton of cargo, so which means almost 3,200 tons per tray. Another container which we are working on, if you can avoid that kind of tilting, so this is basically again top loading and you can discharge from the side bottom through gravity. So this particular container you can use for fly ash, cement, soda ash, even food grain, all uh, the bulk cargo can be uh, for this particular container you can use for that. So another, uh, which uh, in the intro I have said that we have developed this utilization of, that unitization of less than truckload cargo. You see the road has got the same kind of handicap for the less than truckload cargo, like first mile and last mile. First the smaller truck or pickup kind of truck goes to the warehouse or the factory and collect the one ton, two ton of cargo and then come to a consolidated point. From there it gets unloaded from the smaller truck and put into the warehouse. From the warehouse again it goes to the longer truck and the, the larger journey is done by that longer truck or heavier truck. And similar thing happens at the other end. Keeping that into mind, we have devised a container which, is of, which can carry only 2.5 ton of cargo. And it can go to the that factory or the warehouse where the smaller LTL cargo has to be collected. And from there, you just bring it back. And instead of cargo being destuffed and put into the warehouse, you just destuff, you just put the containers down. And when you are got many, many such containers, you can load on the train or on the truck. So these container can go along with the truck or the train. And similarly, you can uh, repeat this thing at the unloading point. 
so we have considered for this a basic cargo of like motor uh, the two wheelers at this point of time railway does not provide any solution for the two wheeler transportation so with this you can have 2160 two wheelers in a particular railway wagon railway rake which that uh, coasting we have done between chennai to delhi which are both are the hub for the two wheelers and it can give you at least 10 to 15% lower cost compared to existing road road transportation so this is the full uh, complete cycle of the ltl cargo that for the first mile you can use the either the pickup or a 20 ft truck or a 40 ft trailer so the dimensions are so chosen that uh, the last mile and the first mile with the road is also optimized fully so there is no basically space loss or no tonnage loss with this kind of system and on per wagon you see in the between you have got the six containers mounted on the wagon and the six into 48 or 45 that much some small containers can go on a on a rail system and this particular concept can work like a mail express hopping trains on the mail express you see at certain big stations the passengers get down and then get get in similarly at the some stations you can take out these containers and fill up with the other containers and in between if you have got some requirement you can keep doing that because everything is handled with the help of a forklift you don't require special equipment for handling of this you don't require any special yard or station terminal for handling of these containers so now i am in the heavier section of this uh, containers we have produced 42 ft containers with a gross load of 67 ton specially for transportation of the steel coils in this container if you see there are three recesses for putting up the coils and if you have got a smaller coils then you can put on uh, even on the uh, plain surface of this and there are almost 21 lacing hooks on each side wherever your coil is there you can easily lace them lace these coils without any issue the hatches have got around 10 mm thick rubber sheet which is of a very good rubber so that your coils do not damaged with the contact with the steel steel with steel and friction and all so to avoid that friction and damage to the coils we have provided 10 mm thick uh see the trebled sheet and in the return you can have the benefit of as you know there's lot of movement of pipes and the slabs and etc which are more than 40 ft long slightly more than 40 ft long so those cannot be accommodated in the 40 40 ft containers but in this container you can accommodate those kinds of products also this is the heaviest container which we have produced this container has got gross weight of 80 ton people may ask why 80 ton as you are aware that uh, both the dfcs that uh, eastern dedicated freight corridor and the western dedicated freight corridor are fit to run at 25 ton axle load 25 ton axle load means each uh, wagon is having the four axles so you can go up to 100 tons of ex, uh, that per wagon if you i minus the 20 ton of the tear weight of the wagon so this comes out to be 80 ton so Uh, our customer wanted to have this kind of system which we have suggested they wanted to 72 ton i said why don't go up to 80 ton because sooner or later both the dfcs will get connected and you have got at least 5000 km run where you can have the od points also so we went for 80 ton in this uh, the carrying capacity is around 73 ton 7 ton is the weight of this particular container so we can carry almost 3500 steel coil on a on a rake and each coil can if you want to evenly distribute you can have 24 metric ton of each coil put on these uh, recesses and in the return as i told you that we can have the longer pipes or slabs or blades etc in the return direction we have provided the tarpaulin also for this covering of this roof which is 950 gsm which is a very good tarpaulin we have tested for the water sewer test and everything nothing goes inside so even if you want to transport stainless steel with the weather proofing environment you can provide with that 
So this is basically, as I told you, we have exported around 360 containers to a shipping line called Silmar. We have represented to various government agencies and Ministry of Railways that this is a one of the order we got it and we may not be lucky that we can get again. The simple reason is that we are not cost competitive with Chinese companies. Let me accept this very frankly. Because th they have got high volume, they produce 1,000 containers a day, I produce 17, 17 containers a day. So the economy of scale you can think of. Their cost of steel, which we have recently surveyed, is 45 rupees against 75 rupees, which is a special steel which we use for the container. The government helped them through 15% cost uh, on their cost. They give PLI productivity link incentive. And as I told you that uh, China is a net exporting country. They provide cargo beside the container so that there is empty freight is not there. So we can work on volumes. Increasing volumes is not an issue for us. The issue is that how government can help, help us in this uh, item number three that PLI, there's a lot of talk going on, that uh, there should be PLI in this sector also, but I don't know when it will materialize. At this point of time, there is a, this market is of around 11 to 12 million dollars. India, even if you target around say 1 million dollars, 1 billion dollars initially, that comes out to be around 60 to 70 thousand containers a year. And this can give job to at, at least six, direct job to at least 6,000 6, people. Sorry. So we are working on future project. These are the up till now we have been doing. So we have got some plan for the future also. We have developed a container which is in design stage it's, uh, at this point of time, which uh, we can use it for the steel scrap in a very efficient way. As you know, with this new scrap policy, the old vehicles have to be scrapped. And now people have started making the scrap, that uh, segregation and the crushing and all these things. So there are big, big plants are coming all over India. And scrap can move only by containers or road. It cannot move on railway wagons because otherwise it will own all multiple handling. So we have developed one container which can be open topped when you want to load the cargo. And it has got both side doors. So just by tilting on either side, wherever the space available, you can unload this cargo within 10 to 15 minutes. And this particular system can carry almost 3,200 metric ton per train. Similarly, we are going for dwarf container which are 42 feet. Again, the, this system we are developing for transportation of pipe on railway system, which can give almost 50 to 60 percent reduction in the transportation cost. This is another system on which we are working and RDSO is Minister has asked RDSO to expedite the system. We have developed a container that is also in design stage, which is almost 3600 meter wide, the, the 3600 millimeter wide, 12 feet wide. And top container is just like our dwarf container and height is of the dwarf container. So in the bottom container, you can carry two parallel automobiles, like uh, many of the SUVs and all, which are not, which are maybe around 1600 to 1650 millimeter wider. So you can have put uh, two such auto, uh, auto cars and uh, in the top you can put one. So without doing triple stacking, you are doing almost the triple stack using the double stack concept. With this system, you are increasing the capacity by 48% and on the Eastern and the Western DFC, the capacity increase are much higher. This gives not only Railways more revenue per train, but gives almost 12.5% 12, 12, 12 or 35% reduction in the cost of transportation compared to the existing system. Again, this is the last thing I will not uh, bother you much. Basically, as you may be aware, by 2023 December, whole Indian railways, at least on braid gauge, will be electrified. And we wanted to use that uh, OHE power for the refrigerated system of the containers for that the small container which I have discussed LTL container the small containers can be powered for refrigerated cargo or a conditioned cargo and some part of it can have dry cargo some part of it can have refrigerated cargo on this system also we are working on 
थैंक्स ए लॉट इफ यू हैव गोट एनी क्वेरीज प्लीज लेट मी नो